Welcome back, I'm Dr. Ruckus, and today we are playing Teamer, Super Friends, and Ranked Standard. This deck is off meta for sure, but does a couple of things really well. Number one, the third path iconoclast on two, if unanswered. The rest of the cards in your deck are essentially all non-creatures, so if you can get this guy down earlier and start pumping out 1-1 tokens, that can actually add up to quite a bit of damage and a lot of blockers for your Planeswalker. So that's one way to get through. Uh, then, of course, we have the Planeswalker win package. You can make some giant creatures off of the uh, Teferi or the Ren and Seven or the Nissa. That's another way to win. And then, of course, you have the mail package off Jace and maybe Jace plus Tamiyo getting back to Jace and doing it again. In terms of removal, we do need some Rending Flame in the deck. It's tough to deal with large creatures like Sheldron, so you do need some amount of Rending Flame. Fires of Victory can sometimes get there, but a late game Sheldra usually means you have a few cards in hand, so the fire is not big enough. This is kind of a good mid, it's good early game. We can pick off anything early game, and then late game, hopefully you get a card out of it and pick out something small, but it's not great at killing Sheldra, so you need the Rending Flames in there. Fable, of course, three Strangles, and then one Light of the Night is kind of a fun win con. You can um, remove counters from your Planeswalkers to either go face or pick off a big Sheldra, something you just have to absolutely get rid of. So that's basically the deck. Enjoy the gameplay. Let's dive right in. On the draw with the Iconoclast, okay. Tap land. All right. Oh, we can get untapped blue on two. Start here. Crixus. Oh, Lord. Do we need Odoar against Crixus? Probably just going to play it out here. Let's save a little bit of life. And see if they give us the Make to Spear treatment. They don't, but they do have removal because they are sticky now. So what is it? Go for the throat. Non-artifact down. Fable. Probably have to Rending Flame or Light of the Night that. Ooh, we hit the next Iconoclast, though. Oh, it's so sad we're on the draw. I mean, we have to just kill this thing this turn, right? I think we light up the night here. I think we just cannot let them get that far ahead. And save Rending Flame for when we need it. X equals 1. Deals 2 damage total. Bin the cut down, okay. Fourth lane, is it Shelly time? It is Shelly time. Well, we have the running flame answer. Go ahead and do it now. Means we're not doing a whole lot else this turn. We still have to find an answer to the fable. Next iconoclast here. Okay. We're probably gonna want double blue anyway. Let's play this guy out. Alright, flip the fable. Just threat after threat we have to answer. Corpse appraiser. It's the perfect thing to copy with the Fable next turn. We even have a creature there. This is tough. Kind of needs to top deck removal spell, otherwise we're going to start feeling the hurt real soon. Fires. Kills the Kiki Cheeky. And we can Iconoclast as well. Okay. There's a chance. One Iconoclast. And it fires. Two damage to the Kiki Cheeky. Make a 1 1. We finally get onto the board. <sighs> okay. <laughs> that's pretty tough. <laughs> it's pretty tough, man. Uh, yeah, that's not so good. Okay. Strangle. Deals with the Corpse Bracer. Strangle plus Jaya. It's the most efficient thing. I think that's the play. One man open for Spell Pierce. Can't get around that regardless. I guess we'll see if they want to Spell Pierce. They would never Spell Pierce to Strangle, though, so there's no ordering that would do it. Okay. Monk it is. Pick off the Appraiser. Alright. We are alive. Opponent with four cards, worth one, and a light up the night. But we are alive. Brotherhood ends. Do we lose Jaya? No, not yet. Okay. I think there's a chance. I'm hopeful. Let's exile a card. Try to go Iconoclast some plus something juicy. Alright, top two cards. Give me something good, baby. More than land. I need more than land here. We gotta fight the Grixis. Rena 7's good. Fable's also good, actually. I think Iconoclast plus Fable might be even better, though. Okay. Tough decisions. And I think we hold the land to cycle to the... to the Jaya next turn, or to the Fable next turn. 
All right, we're on the board again, hanging on by a thread against Crixus. Bro Second Brotherhood end would just make me so sad here. No cycle. They like that last card, and that's not a good sign. Okay, go for the throat there. Shelly comes down. Do you offer the Harvester trade or just pick off the 2 2? They don't. We hit a bank buster. It's at least you. I don't think. I mean, bank buster is good in general. It's just very slow to find an answer to Sheldred, and we have to find an answer to Sheldred pretty quickly here. So I think we bin both and lose four life. Fires is not big enough currently. But if we make Jace big enough, lay up the knight can kill off Sheldred. So we'll start with the plus. And we'll just play out the Jace here. Full size. And try to get him big enough to light up the knight. I guess we'll make the harvester smaller. They can pick off with the harvester regardless. We're probably just gonna chump shelter with the one one. So let's do it like this. Okay, no attacks. And plan to light up the knight and pick off shelter next turn. Corpus Appraiser. Alright, they get to dig. They haven't hit any of their three to four invoke despairs, although one of them was a Gix's command. So we don't know how many invoke despairs they're fitting in this Grixis version. They've been in Invoke Despair. I guess that kind of makes sense. We let you sack a 1 1, lose a Planeswalker. But I am scared of what they got here. They go face. Happy to chump here. We'll keep the Prowess token, even though the Artifact token is useful in some cases. Play out a Bankbuster, 1 mana open, so no make to Spear. So we get to resolve Light Up the Knight this turn. And they use the Harvester to pick off the Goblin Shaman, I suppose. Yep, they do. Okay. Flip you. So it has to be four mana light at the night. So we're not going to have a whole lot of mana to use the minus on Jaya anyway. So we're probably going to plus on Jaya. We're probably going to plus on the Corpse Brazer. We don't have to plus on the Corpse Brazer. We could take the draw here. We need to light up the night first, though. So we want to pick four here. We want to kill children. And probably do three and one. Okay. Shelly goes down, which is huge. We can either plus or minus here. I think we'll take the minus and the draw. Mill the opponent in case it is a potential win con. They're down to 38 cards. Another Invoke to spare down. If we keep the land in hand, we can blast the Corpse Brazer next turn with fires. So let's try that instead. Okay, we are in this game. We're down to eight. They don't cycle. They like that last card. Go for the Throat you, in case you don't get the copy off. Go for the Throat you. We're left with a 1-1. One, one. Take the chump here, although we have backup Jace anyway. This is fine with me. Let's plan to fires this thing this turn, I think. Tamio's not bad either. We could go that route instead. Okay. Plus here. Plus here. Full price Tamio's okay. We could minus and get back a permanent. We could get back Fable of the Mirror Breaker or the Bank Buster. Fable's always pretty good. Okay, let's take the Fable here. Okay. I think we still hold the land. Um, we can cycle it with Fable or save it for Fires of Victory. Clawing our way back, 8 life. And here, this is interesting artwork. I've never seen this copy. It's different, right? 
All right, they get the bank bus draw. The game goes on, though. They take the draw again. Okay. They have their own fable. I think we're thinking about the mill win con. Strangle. Not bad. Bin the land here. I think we keep the other jades. I think we're thinking about mill win. I think kicking isn't bad to get the card draw. Let's just pick off the appraiser here while we can. Okay, that could pick off the bank buster if we needed to at some point. Play the land. I think strangle you as well. Plus the Tammy onto no one. Can minus and get back a bank buster next turn. Plus the Jaya. Plus the Jace. Take the treasure. I think we hold back the 3 3. Let's try to keep everyone alive and stable. Okay, cut down. Still have two blockers left. We don't have an answer to Sheldred. Sheldred comes up. They've been two lands. They're down to 28 cards. Blood token. They're getting low. 27 cards. We can just mail them out from here. The double Jace combo. They take the draw. Okay. Backup Fable. They tap out. So there's no make to spear mana. So I think we just nabbed the win here. Pretty huge. What a battle, man. Alright, let's do it. Minus three. That's nine cards. They're able to make disappears. And uh, there's the other one. Yeah. Whew, good game, dude. Crixus is always such a battle. And Teamer is just, like, not favored in general. So, this is big. Sure, cut down you. That's fine. That's not the plan. Point it down to 17 cards. Minus five. All right, down to zero. Whew, a win, dude. A win. Wait, they have two cards left? Oh, that's 15. For some reason, I thought it was 25. Hold on. The game's not over yet. My bad. Wait, wait. <laughs> wait, hold on a second. Uh, that was a mistake. Wow, talk about counting your chickens before they hatch. I think we just plus and block. And try to Tamio next turn. We can hold both Siju. Tap you down. Oh my god, in my head? I don't know, for some reason I was thinking that milled 25. I don't know why I thought that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I think we can still get there, but if we lose from this position, that's going to be really bad. <laughs> I mean, now they have a chance to... I think they've been both make spears, though. Right? Yeah, I doubt they have any more. Okay, we just need to keep Tamio alive this turn. That's all. We have Bosiju for the Bank Buster. Oh, they're out of cards. Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> what a throw. I don't know why I thought that mill 25. Uh, I guess I thought um, each Jace was 5 mil instead of 3 or something. I don't know, but we got there anyway. <laughs> all right, good game, dude. Good game. On the draw with Fires of Victory. Could be okay. On a black, alright. Another slow land. Underdog. Strangles cheap. We'll probably just fires it on their turn. Yeah, that's fine. Next turn could bank buster plus strangle something, maybe. Yep. Just get rid of this guy now. Slow him down just a bit. Do nothing. Hmm. Okay, last fast link. Come down. We have the bank buster here. But we don't give him any removal targets, which is nice. It's a very slow turn three for the opponent. They do have the Shelly, though. We don't immediately have an answer to it. Okay. Probably Sahili make a couple Thopters this turn. Not a super impressive turn for us, though. Okay. Cut 
Cut down. Hasty underdog. All right, so Healy goes down. It's too bad. The blocks then, no point. Still need an answer to Sheldred. No answer to Sheldred. Do get to red and seven this turn, though. And hold back the Thopter. Okay, see if we can keep Ren and Seven alive. Okay, power the bank post in response. It's probably what we'll do here, actually. Go for the throat, will not. Um, can't kill the bank buster, so they have to also have Infernal Grasp or something similar to get through the artifact. They offer the attack here. We just chump with the 1 1. Okay. See if they also have their removal spell and we're looking for the blowout. Bankbuster of their own. <clears throat> well, let's take the draw here first, even though it hurts. Okay. I don't even think plusing the Ren and Seven is that helpful. Except that we force them to attack it, which is maybe okay. Jason plus is interesting. Maybe that's the play instead, actually. Okay, full price Jace. Taking a lot of damage per turn here. Plus the Shelly. And we'll plus the Ren too. Light up the Knight. That actually deals with Sheldred. Okay. Alright, Hasty Underdog comes down. So they can pick off Ren here, but not Jace. Oh, they leave both alive. That's interesting. Nope, they pick off Ren and Seven. That's what I do too. Ping down Jace a little bit. Okay, we finally get rid of the Sheldred here though. Alright, this is our lone chance to get back in the game right here. I guess we plus the Jace and then minus 5. No, we can do X equals 4. Okay. Still, we'll probably plus regardless. I think we're going to start with the Iconoclast. Yeah, okay. X equals 4 here. Pick off Shelly finally. Okay. Cut down the Iconoclast. Too bad. We get a 1-1 to block, though. Okay. We're not going to strangle this turn, so we can get the tap land down. And plus onto no one. Okay. Trespasser. Okay. Let's see if they have removal for uh, the 1-1. One -one. Otherwise, Jace could survive here. They crew. That's weird. Why not take the draw or leave the draw open? Okay, we're happy to chump here. I think that was pretty weird. Why did they do that? Oh, this thing, um, right, has so many sickness. <laughs> First game of the day. Okay. It's pretty obvious. Strangle the trespasser. Probably take the draw off the bank buster. Try to keep Jace around for now. Backup Celestis. Okay. Strangle you. Drop off the Celestis. We, we lose the Jace this turn to the underdog. So we could minus instead. Puts us really low on life total. We're still just going to die to invoke despair no matter what, right? Okay, let's take the draw. Being all the Shelly's, that's nice. Iconoclast is actually playable this turn. Okay, pretty close to lethal. They can almost certainly get us down to one. 
So you have to have a creature to power up the Bankbuster and play the Underdog. Archfiend, 6-6. Six, six. It's pretty hard for us to kill. Ugh. I think this game's about over. Swing for four, down to four. Can't deal with the Archfiend. Also doesn't deal with the Archfiend. I'm not sure we have too many cards that can. Six toughness is, is tough for red base removal. Yeah, not it. Okay, I don't think we can get there. Hey, yikes, good game. Not the matchup for us. On the play with a nice curve. Let's keep this. Have to start on blue, so we can Sakenzen on two and get the third path that kind of glass down. Mono red. No plays though. Red for us. Yeah, we could try the Iconoclast here. There is stick, so they play with fire immediately, and it does die. Goodbye. Get to Fable next turn though. Veldon. Jace is okay against Veldon. I think I'm pretty happy with Jace here. We lose some life, but this nullifies this guy for quite a while. Okay, plus you. Swift Spear. They have played with fire, they actually kill it this turn. That's too bad. It's a lot of damage for turn two. Chase goes down. We can strangle the Swift Spear though. Okay. Strangle you. We might actually trade the 2 2 with Feldon. I'm not sure yet. We don't want to use Running Flame on it, that's for sure. Hmm. We don't need the mana. Let's just, uh. Take that block there, E2. Alright. Draw a discard. At least you. We could hit a 5 drop right now though, and need both lands. Let's drop the Running Flame as well. I just do not want to use that on the Feldon. Oh, brutal! <clears throat> All land? That's the worst case scenario right there. Okay, could always bounce Feldon if we wanted to. It's a little bit extreme for now. Squee. That's probably bounce worthy. Yikes. The double land draw off the, uh, the Fable. That's not good. Two more, to the face. That's a card, okay. I like that. Get you as big as possible here. And make a big green creature, 6-6 six, six acquired. That is non-trivial to get through. So now we just have to worry about getting burned down from 10 to zero. So sphere, okay. The Feldon's weird. They attack with both. I mean, we'll definitely block the Swiss Spear. I think we might let the Feldon through, though. Do we need the Kiki Jiki, or is now the time to pick off Feldon? I don't think we need it to win. I mean, we want to stay out of burn range. I think we lose the Kiki Jiki here. Because we don't want to deal too much damage to this thing. We can only pick one of these, though. Yeah, I think we saved the life here. I think it's okay. I think Nissa alone is enough to make more creatures. I don't think we have to keep the Kiki Jiki around for the copies. Let's get to look at two. Play one of them. So Kenzin and Squee, that's pretty good for us. Okay, they get the land. And they play the land. They play Squee after the fact. That's a great draw right there. Okay. Continue to plus. I think we can actually attack here. And we just pick off Squee before they enter combat. We could do it now to maybe get a one drop that's playable, but it's only going to be, um, oof, that's interesting. Actually, this is not that good. Hold on. Only does one damage, right? Not as good as I thought. All right, we need one more card to make this work. They go face. Okay. Okay. 
could pick off the 1-1 one -one with fires. I mean, we're very close to lethal this coming turn. Let's take out the Raiju here. And I think we can actually kick you and take out the 1-1. One -one just to get a draw off. They scoop. Yeah, we're one point short of lethal, but I think we probably could have gotten there. I mean, this is a lot to get through. On the draw with some removal, it's okay. Fast land. I think we'll start here. Can't strangle it instant speed anyway. Boros, do nothing, okay? Nothing on our side either. Boros Fable, okay. Probably just have to strangle that immediately. Oop, we get the Bankbuster turn as well, which is pretty nice. Okay. Keep them off the mana. You think Boros Reanimator? Yeah, I'm gonna hazard a yes. Okay, so they're gonna go way over the top. Missionary. Interesting. I guess we jace here, but uh, we gotta start minusing soon. We have to draw into answers before they completely wreck us. Actually, we can Nissa though. We can destroy the Kiki Jiki, which is maybe what we do. Yeah, Nissa can also take out one with the multiverse if that's what they do end up reanimating. Atraxa. <laughs> yeah, we got our work cut out for us for sure. I don't think our deck can handle Atraxa. We'll just have to reanimate that though. Okay, give this thing haste so I can copy it. It's not crazy scary. Attack down Jace a little bit. Okay, I think it's Nissa minus take out the reflection. In that case, you probably can't minus the Jace because we want to keep it around. Okay, start here. Artifact or enchantment. And uh, keep the 2 3, low on power level. Kicker for one and a black. Let's see if they invoke Justice Us on the Atraxa. That'd be pretty brutal. They get one with the multiverse, so we can pick that off with Nissa. And they invoke Justice. Alright, that's game. <laughs> I don't think we can beat Atraxa with this deck. Red removal just isn't enough. What would it take? I guess Light Up the Knight technically could do it. That's a really long shot though. And the missionary's big enough they attack down Nissa. Uh, which means we can't pick off one of the multiverse. I think that's pretty much game there. We can take a couple draws here. I think that's about it. Milling the opponent is suspect. Fires of victory, eh? We need a lot of cards in hand to pull that off. And we're probably going to lose before then. And even if we do kill it, they still have one with the multiverse. I think we're going to call it here. <laughs> I don't think we're going to win this game. I think our time is best served on another game. All right. Thank you for staying to the end. If you enjoyed today's video, please drop a like, a comment, and a subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.